In this video, I'm going to show you how to convert a decimal fraction to its binary equivalent. We do so by multiplying with base 2 and we note down the whole number and then we multiply again the remainder part of the fraction. We continue doing so up until we reach the required degree of accuracy. When I say the required degree of accuracy, maybe uh, your answer might be needed to be in two decimal places or three decimal places or four decimal places. So you stop the multiplic multiplication when you reach the degree of accuracy. So let's convert 0 0.12 in base 10 to its binary equivalent. First of all, we write the, the decimal number. That's 0, 1, 2, 5. And then we multiply it by the, the base, that is base 2. We get our answer here as 0 0.25. We note the whole number part. The whole number part in this case has zero. So we note zero. Then we take the decimal fraction that is still, it's a 0 0.25. We say times the base multiplier, that is two. We get zero. 0.5. The whole number part again is 0. So we note down 0. Then we take the fraction again. That's 0. 0.5 times 2. Our answer in this case is what? 1.0. We note down the whole number part, which is 1. That is our 1. So I said earlier we are solving this decimal fraction just to three decimal places. So we can end here. But even so, if you had continued with the uh, solution or with the steps, you were going to say 0 times 2 because this is the decimal part. We have a 0. So you just get your answer is 0. So this is the uh, last step of uh, the steps involved in converting decimal fraction to the binary equivalent. Then when we note our answer or when we take our answer, we write our answer from top to bottom, which means that the top part here is the most significant bit and the bottom part here will be the least significant bit. So our answer in this case will be equal to 0, 0, 0, 1 in base 2. So converting 0 0.15 in base 10 to its binary equivalent we have our answer is 0, 0,001 in base 2.